can be a service to Barbara, you said you're getting on her nerves. Stop it. Mississippi is at the epicenter of the American debate over abortion rights. I mean, it's always been a battle here, and Mississippi's easy. This is not only the most oppressed state in the nation, it's the poorest state in the nation. We have a 19.6% poverty rate, and, you know, where better to test everything out than in a state that can't fight back. The state's 2018 law banning almost all abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy and the legal challenges it garnered will decide whether a strong conservative majority on the U.S. Supreme Court will uphold or overturn Roe v. Wade, the pivotal 1973 court decision granting abortion access across the country. For now, though, abortion is legal in Mississippi. There is only one clinic serving the state of nearly 3 million people and 48,000 square miles. Jackson Women's Health Clinic performs about 2,500 abortions per year. If Roe versus Wade is overturned, though, this clinic will have to close its doors. Dorenda Hancock is the co-founder of Pink House Defenders, and she and her volunteers are out here every day providing support to the clinic's patients. Being the only clinic in the state, it's extremely important that someone is out here for the patients as they arrive. In the mornings, we have the most protesters. Generally, we'll have anywhere from eight or nine to as much as yesterday, we had 25 out here. And that's a typical day. On a Saturday, it can be 100. So we just feel like women have enough to face. The clinic also attracts protesters on a daily basis who try to persuade patients to turn around and reconsider their procedures. It has become a de facto symbol of the abortion debate here. I think that there is a need for like education and um, people understanding that we're not against women. We just, we, we genuinely love them and we want to support them. Mississippi is a state with trigger laws in place. Trigger laws are exactly what they sound like, laws that are triggered by another action. In this case, Roe v. Wade being struck down by the highest court. If that happens, abortion would immediately become illegal in Mississippi. And Mississippi is at the center of a wave of trigger laws and pre-Roe abortion bans across the southern United States that will ban abortion from Florida to New Mexico, creating a massive abortion desert that covers thousands of square miles and affects millions of people. It's already an abortion desert. There are more states, they're almost double. No, no. If you add Tennessee, all the states surrounding us, there are, I believe, 12 abortion clinics. There are 14 in Detroit. So think about that. When all these few are gone, we have nothing. On the other side of the debate, anti-abortion rights groups hope to educate women about options other than terminating a pregnancy, causing some to accuse them of being pro-birth rather than pro-life. That is something organizations like Students for Life are quick to correct. The pro-life movement is pro-life. It's fully pro-life. And we're going around making our city abortion free by telling women, okay, you don't have to go to the abortion facility. There are free life affirming resources that can help you up until the, your child is two years old. We can refer you to adoption agencies. We can help out with bills. We can help get you back into school. But remember, the if then method of banning abortion is by design. As states have become more and more conservative, the desire to find ways to ban abortion that will stand the court test of Roe is the goal. And it's possible that the anti-abortion rights movement may have finally found the case that will do just that. We are the pro-life generation. We are the generation that can abolish abortion in our lifetime. And honestly, you're seeing that every day. There are polls out there that show that people do not support abortion at least up to 15 weeks, even up to six weeks. So, it, so it's happening.